Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel and happy Tuesday, September 7th. It is my second off day of the week and today I am going to go do a challenge, a four park in one day challenge. That is right, we're going to Epcot, we're going to Animal Kingdom, we're going to Magic Kingdom, and we're going to Hollywood Studios. Not in that order. Normally, in pre-pandemic times, I would have been able to just do this in the morning, at the start of the morning, and I could have just like gone all day like that. But because it's pandemic time, I can't even park hop until two o'clock. So luckily, that meant that I could sleep in. So right now, it's about 12.30 and we're gonna go to Animal Kingdom first. My qualifications for this four parks in one day for it to count for the four park in one day challenge is I want to ride one ride, I want to see one show, have one food item, and see at least one character. I made my reservation for Animal Kingdom first, so that's where we're headed. And yeah, I think I'll see you guys when we get there. <laughs> Y'all, I just had a magical moment. These parking people, they seem so happy, but I was cruising through, going through the parking lot. They were directing me to which spot to go and whatever. And the dude was like, hey, are you, you're here by yourself? Where are you from? He was like, well, yeah, I'm gonna do a little something special for you. You can have preferred parking. So here I am right next to the entrance for, for, for free, for fun, for no reason. It's great. Everyone who I know in parking seems to love it and that person made it seem like they are having a good time they're all smiling having a great day it's gonna be a great day i'm excited officially okay we made it into animal kingdom and it says a flight of passage is only a 10 minute wait so i'm thinking that's gonna be my ride while i'm here but fit check while we're out and that's the whole thing unfortunately it looks like a lot of people got the memo about flight of passage i see a lot of people headed that way Okay, um, first we need to find the compatible match of your genetic material with the genetic material of one of the avatar bodies that we already have. Now, let's find you your avatar matches. Who runs the program? Seated, lean forward, holding onto the hand grips, and supervise your children. Great ride, nothing new, I already knew that. As always, Flight of Passage was awesome. Now, if something's fine, a show, a snack, and see a character, and then we can head out of Animal Kingdom. Okay, I don't think we're feeling Festival of the Lion King for my show. I think I'm gonna go try to see that up bird show. And for snacks, I don't know. I've never eaten anything but a regular meal here, so we'll have to see what we pass. <laughs> Just like that, we're done with Animal Kingdom. I'll talk to y'all when I get back in the car. Y'all, I am not built for preferred parking. I just almost had a panic attack, spent like 
20 minutes looking for my car and you know why I couldn't find it? Because it was too close to the entrance. I was way back there. I'm like, where's my car? My alarm isn't going off. It was, I walked past it like eight times because it was so close and I couldn't fathom. Anyway, we are on our way to Epcot. I did not think it was gonna take that long in Animal Kingdom, but I think every other park is gonna be easier for me to find food, characters, even shows and rides. So we're on our way and I'm finally gonna have my first meal of the day. I haven't eaten anything and it's like four o'clock almost, but I'll see you when we get to Epcot. All right, for rides, we're going with the safe choice. We're gonna ride the Finding Nemo ride because it's only a 10 minute wait. something something burger from Earth Eats and it's completely vegan already. I daydream about this slider. It's like one of my favorite things I've had here. I also got the little spiced chai tea. Again, I've already had both of these. I already know they're good. Tried and true. Ride down, snack down. We're looking for show and character. The sun has been slowly draining my energy, but the ice from this tea is bringing me back to life. When the sharks were trying to cut me down of America showing. They were an acapella group and they were doing Greatest Showman songs. But now all I need is a character. I don't know if I'm gonna pass when normally there would be like, like Anna and Elsa, I would have passed them. There's a little spot where Winnie and the Pooh and them meet. I don't know. Things are not looking good for characters. I just asked some lady if Jasmine's still meeting in Morocco and she told me she's done for the night. So I assume that would mean, <gasps> look, it's freaking Sleeping Beauty. Literally done and done. Where is she? Wow. Well, okay, we're done with Epcot. Look, they have a playground with Princess Tiana and she's wearing my favorite outfit of hers from the movie. Look who we found on the way out. We got Mr. Mouse and Mrs. Mouse. All right, the time is about 5.30. We're doing good. Um, I don't know if, I don't know if for, um, Magic Kingdom if they like shut everything off for Boo Bash. So I don't know if I should go there first or Hollywood Studios. Magic Kingdom hours. Okay, they both close at 8.30 and 9 o'clock. So the point is I just need to get a move on it. So I think I'm gonna go to Hollywood Studios next. Welcome to Hollywood. 
Look, it's perfect timing. There's about to be a cavalcade. Who are we gonna see? <gasps> Hi, Benny. <laughs> I'll try to figure something out for food for mobile order. Did you guys notice I got over my fear of recording in front of people? Because who cares? It's definitely still awkward, but I care significantly less now. It's been two and a half months and I've made progress. but today I just wasn't thinking about it. So we're, we're, we're phone recording. Somebody asked me if it's like good quality to record on your phone. So judge this video, this will be the difference. We'll have to hurry, we have like an hour until, I, until Magic Kingdom closes. I can do this. Bro, Siri is always doing this. It's right there. Ah! Anytime I put Magic Kingdom on the GPS, Siri always drives me right past the parking lot. I'm getting tired of it. My respect for the parking lot people, the parking lot cast members, is just growing and growing. They're out here, no umbrella, no nothing, just in the rain. Look at this absolute trooper, dude. They're, they're just treating it like it's nothing. I planned ahead enough to bring an umbrella, but not enough to bring a jacket, so this is how we're rocking. It's gonna get wet very soon and I will be miserable, but we're not that at that point yet. So it's all good. 7.40 and this part closes at 8.30, so we're not doing terrible. We're in kind of a rush, but not the worst thing in the world. Chugga, 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 chugga. 
Chugga, 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 chugga. Got the whole monorail parts to myself. Wow. 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 Okay, we made it to Magic Kingdom. It's really chaotic over here because everyone's getting ready for Boo Bash. Everyone's hustling, bustling. There's going to be cavalcades. It's a lot. But I have to ride a ride. I have a plan for shows, characters, and food. But first things first is we're going to do a ride. I think we're going to try for the Buzz Lightyear thingy. The wait's only like 15 minutes. This is so chaotic. Everybody's parked out for fireworks. I'm just trying to ride a ride. fries from Casey's Corner and normally there are some characters at the exit whenever the park is closing. I have to wait 20 more minutes for my fries so let's see if we can see anybody. Well this is kind of a preview for what it'll be like for my boo bash. I'm going October 29th and I can only imagine it's going to be even busier. We got a Magic Kingdom snack and guess who I see? We got Pirate Jigger and Pumpkin Bumblebee Pooh. Y'all there are some cool Halloween costumes here. I gotta bring my A game for boo bash. I'll show any of my fries for a second. Hello, I'm back at the apartment. I'm supposed to be at the gym right now. It's like 11.30, 11 o'clock, something like that. I'm pooped. The sun sucked my energy out with the straw and I got nothing left, but I did it. I did four parks in one day. It was a little touch and go there for a while. I didn't think I was gonna be able to do it. At Animal Kingdom, there was like no vegan snacks for me to just grab and go. Everything was like meals, mostly like bratwurst and stuff, and that wasn't the vibe. So that was a little sketch. And then at Magic Kingdom, I wasn't in the park until like 7.45 and they closed at 8.30. So I was rushing, rushing, rushing in there. And at the end, I had remembered seeing like characters up on like the little train station, like saying bye to everybody, but they weren't doing that. And I asked one of the cast members and she was like, oh yeah, they stopped doing the kiss goodbye. People were staying late trying to see it. And I felt dread. I was like, oh no. I got all the way to the end and I'm about to flop by not seeing a character. And then, just as I was leaving with my French fries from Casey's, what did I see but Winnie the Pooh and Tigger out there in their little Halloween costumes. And I guess technically, even if I hadn't seen Pooh and Tigger, I did technically see Tinkerbell during Happily Ever After. So, eh, technicality, I think I would have been all good anyway. But there you go, the four parks, one day, 
it it was a lot like i said i am ready to hit the sack right now i have a few takeaways from each park that i went to so when i was in animal kingdom and i was on the flight of passage i was sat next to two people and it was their very first time riding the ride and it was so cool to be next to them to be next to people who had never ridden it before and to hear the amazement that they had the first time just awestruck by everything that there was to take in that was it was i don't know how to describe it but it felt nice it was kind of like in traditions whenever they show you that video and it's like this is who you're doing it for it's for people like this who it's their first time here maybe their only time here and it's magical to them it's great that was a fun thing that i got to experience in animal kingdom was the thrill of a first time viewing of the wonder, the magic, the amazement that goes into Disney parks. When I was in Epcot, something I noticed, you guys saw that I was wearing my like Disney mask out and about. I don't like wearing my regular uniform out in public, but the mask, once you wear the Disney mask, all my other masks feel fake. And so I wear that one because it feels like a real mask. Like they have the bar and it's all thick all this other stuff but when you wear the mask out in public like in a disney park the cast members who are working are going to ask you oh where do you make magic so i got asked by multiple people throughout the day where do i make magic thank you for making magic all this other stuff which is something i noticed particularly in epcot in hollywood studios i picked the frozen sing-along because they had a show starting at just the right moment it's not a show that i would have picked normally because I'm not a massive Frozen fan but when I was in there I don't know if it was just the two hosts that they had or what but that was such a fun show and it reminded me that if you really think about it Frozen the soundtrack really doesn't have any bad songs like none of them really they did skip fixer upper which i actually like and i was like oh okay i mean i guess kids wouldn't really know fixer upper but still that's a good song but the frozen sing-along was great and in magic kingdom i learned that people take fireworks so seriously like i knew i knew that camping out getting a good spot was a thing i i knew that I didn't realize it would be so crowded. People would be so defensive about, no, I will not wiggle two inches closer up so that you can get a better spot. I didn't realize how many bad spots there were to watch fireworks. You guys might notice in the clips I ended up putting together, I was walking around, I was trying to find just the right point, but literally everything good, like directly in front of the castle, full of people and I was not about to wiggle my way in there. I don't like being that close to other other people. But yeah, really, if you're not directly in the center, you're gonna be blocked by trees, you're gonna be block, blocked by light posts, you're gonna be blocked by literally just random stuff. When people say get a good spot for the fireworks, they're being serious. Competition is rough out there. But my spot that I ended up in, it was okay. If I had just a little pinch more willpower, I probably could have gotten just a little bit better but I, again i was not trying to be that close to anybody ew i'm too sleepy we didn't even have dinner so i'm gonna talk to you guys later thank you all so much for watching as always i will see you in the next one toodles